and we're working. Oh my lord, how ridiculous, you guys. How absolutely ridiculous. Welcome to the Coffee Run Sans Coffee, but with water. It is today. It is today, Nicola. Oh my gosh. So I've just been, um, it's kind of interesting. Um, just been out this morning. I've done a radio interview here locally and then went and did some coffee coaching with the fabulous Jeremy and Kim chatting about what they want to do and achieve in 2020. And I've come back and I've had so much coffee. Like, it's funny that it's the coffee run because I'm just like... <laughs> so I promise you that I will try and make sense of everything today. But consequently, I was sitting here thinking, like, just over here, like, you'll see the evidence of said coffee coaching. Oops. Like, all of that stuff. I've kind of, like, got home and I'm like, oh, my gosh, like, it's coffee run time. So um, I guess what I was thinking is like, how can I how can I serve you guys the best? And I think one of the things that I I do a lot of, hey Tani, good morning. Something that I do a lot of is is that like I'll talk about different programs and things like this that I run. But I don't think that um, a lot of you have the the um, like understand or, or necessarily know what kind of goes on. So I thought I'd give you give you a bit of a rundown of of what Social Rebels looks like. Now, one of the reasons for this is, number one, I would love for you to be in Social Rebels. It is going to be the last call today. So the, the link to join is Social Rebels. Uh, sorry, no, it's not. It's nicolamoraz.com.au forward slash Social Rebels. And I guess like what I thought that I would do is share with you a bit what goes on behind the scenes and, and when you're in the programs. Number one, so that you know you, you might like to join Social Rebels, which is a totally badass, amazing program running for 10 weeks. But more importantly, or just as importantly, so that you can see how you can apply this into your stuff as well. So I've been chatting with a lot of business owners, particularly since uh, I was in the States, actually, and, um, you know, coming back and being in the room with a lot of people. And, and so many people have got somewhat a traditional kind of models, right, where maybe you're, you're running a practice or you're running a, a, uh, like a coaching business. And a lot of a lot of you do a lot of work one on one, right? And and you you may have heard about this whole online program thing. Hi, Loretta, good to see you. There's like all this online program stuff that's going on, and it is as I as I said in the radio interview this morning, it is one of the fastest growing uh, businesses, right? To to have the, in the online world to have an online coaching mentoring business, uh, live coaching is one of the fastest growing um, industries, and you know. I guess part of all of that is that we've been sold this idea that having an online business is really simple and really easy. And you know what, in some instances it can be. But what, what I guess I have seen play out over the last 10 years since working, or 10 plus years actually, since working in the online world has been that so many people don't see how it can apply to you. So I thought I would give you some little bits of insights into the way that I do things and what I've learned over the last few years, not many years of, of doing this. So there's a there's a bit of a school of thought that we that you, we should have to do an ascension model, right? So an ascension model, there is a name for it, and you guys have probably seen this, where you opt in for something for free, and then on the thank you page is, hey, you can buy this thing for seven dollars, uh, or you get this free, you get this, you get this free book, just pay postage. What they're trying to do there is liquidate the cost of the lead, okay? So we have to pay to put advertising in your news feeds and what a lot of businesses do, I don't do this personally, but what a lot of businesses will do, will look to sell you something quite cheaply in order to mitigate the, the cost of the lead generation. So that, that, that's something that they'll do. And then what they'll do is they'll try, hey Carol, They'll try and then sell you something from $7, they might go to $27 or $49, and then there's something else that'll go to like $147 or $197, and then that'll usually go to $497, $997, $1,500, uh, $3,000, $4,000, $5,000, $7,500, grand, $15,000, grand, $25,000, grand, $100,000, grand, right? So it kind of keeps going up like that. So the prices of what they're charging is ascending. And what they're trying to get you into is, is like the next program and the next program and the next program. Now, it is a business model that works, right? And it's been done very, very successfully by people. 
The, the, the trouble that I see with this particular model though, is that a lot of people or a lot of the technology that's required to go into all of that, it's a lot of automated, um, in quotes, income, right? Which means that I'll, I'll, I don't do this, but what I could do is go and put out an ad and says, hey, buy this thing, but there's a video of me. And then we know that there is a certain number of people that will convert and go into that thing. And then a certain number of those people will convert. And then, oh, if you don't want that, that's fine. You've got this, this option of uh, like two payments, but if you buy now, you get this thing for cheaper. And the technology to make all of that work is fucking convoluted, to be very, very blunt about it. And I'm not saying it doesn't work, but it is very convoluted. So if something breaks within the funnel, or if it's a it's a funnel, right? It's a, it's a or an ascension model funnel. The way what happens is, it, it, like it, it takes time to go in and then work out what's not working. You've got to then retest it. That costs you time and money. Meanwhile, you're still paying for the lead generation that's happening uh, at the same time. It works. But what I've found, and looking at uh, the, the numbers, and I, and I really like to analyze the data and, and work the numbers to go, okay, well, if, we, if we're gonna do this, and if a cost per lead is $5, and you've got this number of conversions, then how much money do we actually need to put in at the front end in order for it to work? Now, what I worked out is that you've gotta put about $15,000 in before you actually break even. Okay, so based on the conversions and things like that, and most people, based on the average, actually that was with on the best conversions. So a sales page, if you are, just to give you an idea, like if you're going in and selling something for $7 or $197, you can expect your sales pages, which is where you go and hand money over to people, those sales pages are expected to convert between one and 3%. If you are number one, an amazing copywriter, and if number two, you've got the targeting right and the marketing right and everything else. So like an average of one to 3% conversion, the best copywriters in the world get between one and 3% conversions on their sales pages. So does it work? Yes. Can it be a costly exercise trying to work it all out? In my opinion, yeah. Like I don't, I don't wanna go and spend $15,000 before making that first high ticket, higher ticket sale in order for me to be able to break even. And then the other thing with that is that you're relying on the upsells and the upsells and the upsells and the upsells to, uh, to, like to, to manage your cash flow, right? So that is one option. And the, I, I don't believe that that is the right option for most people. The other option is that you go into something where you're looking at more like online courses and stuff like that. So using social rebels as an example. So one of the things that I do with that is I'll do lead generation. Some, some of you may have seen it. Uh, I'm running webinars. So I'll get you guys on a webinar. We do a live training. I, I'll talk about the, the reasons that being visible is so freaking important. Why you've really got to be you, right? Which is exactly what I advocate for all day, every day when we're talking on the coffee run. It's like, you know, you have the, the thing that is going to make you stand out, the thing that is going to have you being seen as being different is you, your personality, your passion for what it is that you do. And it's not, you can't kind of like, if, if you don't bring that in, then you're always going to be competing on product or, or service and cost, right? So this is where you'll find that the competition will come in and undercut you and so on and so forth. So... The thing that we've really got to be doing is really harnessing your personality and being visible. So on the webinars, I'll talk about that. And then I'll start talking about social rebels in, in this particular instance. So, and this is how, what you could model should you choose to do this. Uh, you don't have to use webinars. You could, do, you could do sales calls. You could just do sales pages. It's completely up to you. So with the, with the program, with the online programs that, that I do, it goes straighter in, straighter. It goes straight into a higher ticket sale. So social rebels, for instance, is $2,000 or a $3,000 for the VIP version. So for two grand, you and I would work together for the next 10 weeks in this particular round. And you've got me live, I deliver the training live, you get templates, checklists, tools, like all of that stuff. There's Q and A, so you get all of your questions answered. We go through how to differentiate yourself in the market. We go through, you know, working out who your hot call clients are. We work out how to actually build conversations with your people. We look at how to capture these, their information and really engage them. We get into how to then turn that into money. 
we look at how to build rapport, how to build relationships and, and all of the, the technical stuff that goes, goes into all of that. So what that particular program does is it gives you guys, it, it's not a cheap program, it's two, two or three grand depending on which option you choose. It's certainly not the highest program that I've ever sold. And that gives you guys the, the, the opportunity to go out there and be completely independent. So you could model something like that, right? So what that is, it's a one to few program delivery, but in a, like I deliver them in a private Facebook group so that they've got the training, they, you guys can go through that, consume it, go and implement, and then we catch up again the following week, go through, you know, how did you go? What have you found? What questions have you got? What are the results that you're getting so far? And then this is how we tweak, measure, uh, sorry, tweak, implement, measure, and adjust, you know, ongoing forward from, from there. So you might like to do something like that where you're going, okay, so I help people move from, like I help people move from feeling invisible to really feeling like they can step into their rock star status and, and absolutely being of influence in the world. So what do you take your people through? Maybe you help your people go from feeling really lonely and disengaged to feeling empowered and connected, right? Maybe you take people from feeling uh, really unconfident and, and, and anxious and maybe a little bit nervous to feeling really freaking strong and powerful. What is the process that you take your people through? And then you can start to look at building a program around that and then looking at going, okay, so based on that transformation, you might like to go in and charge $500 or $2,000 or $5,000 or whatever it is that you want to go and charge. Hey Tess, so you've got this ability to be able to, instead of relying on those $7 sales, those $27 sales, those $49 sales, the $197 sales, go straight into selling something that's a little bit more like a thousand, fifteen hundred, two grand. Go into that and I know that all of you have got enough transformational ability, for, for want of a better word, there's enough value within what it is that you do teach and deliver for you to be able to command a, at least a thousand dollars, two thousand and upwards from there into an online program delivery, right? So when you're doing that, what that then means is that you're, you're less reliant on those smaller end sales and you can actually take care of your financial household with the, the higher, not too much higher, but slightly higher program rates. It also means that you get to work with your people a little bit more closely, right? So if you've got people that you're working with for a couple of weeks, you can really get inside their heads. You can really get to help them not only have the education, but also experience the transformation with you also, right? Whereas with a $7 thing, or a $97 thing, or even a $197 thing, most people, maybe not most people, many people will buy that thing and go, oh yeah, I'm gonna come back to that, and they will often not do it. So they don't get to experience the transformation with you. So there is so much merit in you delivering live, allowing that space for Q&A, and, and going through it that way. Now, I have tested a range of different things since I've been running things like this since 2010. So I started out running things in person, Excuse me, I started delivering all the consulting and the training and things like that in person. I was traveling all around the country and that was great, but it was the fast track to burnout, right? You can only travel so much with three children under the age of 10. Then I decided to start testing it uh, in a pre-recorded fashion. So I'd give the pre-recorded things to people and, and check in. And that worked pretty well, but I, I still found that people wouldn't always implement. And then from there, we've gone, okay, so how else can I test this? So in 2012, I was working all one-on-one -on -one and I decided to roll out the first online program um, in, yeah, it was like mid-2012. And, oh, then I launched out the first, on that first eight-week program at the start, at the end of 2012, which is similar to Social Rebels. And what I found was that when we were delivering them live, people actually uh, consumed the information. So people were involved in the training. They were excited about what was being delivered. They were doing the work. And I know for you, with, with your people, when your people do the work, they get the results, right? When they don't do the work, they don't get the results. 
Now I know that you are driven by transformation. I know that you are driven by seeing people achieve results. I know that you are driven by people actually doing something with the stuff that you're putting out there. It's the whole reason why you're, um, like really why you're in my community. It's because you're passionate about humans and about these humans getting a result. So the things that we wanna have a look at are, are what are the fastest ways for number one, you to be seen and be, vis be visible, and number two, what are the fastest ways that you can help people achieve a result? And I really think that this is in this, you know, the one to few versus a one to many kind of delivery option. And, and from what I've seen from my own staff and also from clients who have, who have implemented this, this is really where the power is. It's really where you can create massive, massive impact. So that's really what this is all about. I think, you know, you being, you leveraging your own personality, you leveraging your own delivery style can be, is, is obviously really, really important. The thing that I think is more important though is going, okay, what is going to work for me? What resources do I have available? Time, money, and energy. And then going, okay, well, I could do it that way and that's really good, but this is the way that I'm going to test first. Start testing it. Start testing the thing that is going to have you realizing the results and, and seeing the results faster rather than later, sooner rather than later. Because it just, it creates less financial stress and pressure for you. It creates better, more sustainable, faster results for your audience. And it's just, it's just like really helpful, obviously. So these are the kinds of things that we go through in Social Rebels, all about getting you out there, creating things that are going to help, um, selling things as well, obviously, because you know my whole thing is how can you be visible as well as getting a return on investment for that. So if you're wanting to join in there, today is the absolute last call for Social Rebels for you to join in this particular round. Module one is live and ready for you to go. Otherwise, if you decide to join later, that is absolutely okay, but you will be going into the February program, which is happening in the new year. All right, my friends, I am going to love you and leave you. Have a really fantastic, awesome, and of course, an amazing day. If you've got any questions about this or anything else, make sure you let me know. Otherwise, get your ass out there. Go help some people, have a whole lot of fun doing it, and remember that the world is ready for your brand of awesomeness. I'll talk to you tomorrow.